What's up guys, welcome to Hardwin82 channel, I'm Adam and today we're gonna talk about... Yeah, I actually have a serious problem with how to name this episode because I'm not gonna talk about one thing, I'm gonna talk about three different things. I wanna combine this to one episode. So, I wanna talk about NAS server, what that is and how this will help you. Two, I want to talk about how make your tally even smarter, how to change your smart, smart tally to even something smarter. And three, I want to talk about retro games like uh, Super Mario Brothers, Tetris, Tanks, how you can play them and how you can play them these days. So I don't know, probably I will use this title. How to backup your family photos and videos, all important files, and and improve your entertainment experience with even smarter smarter TV, play retro games and more. <laughs> I'm sure you have loads of important documents, photos, videos from vacation. All that stuff is on your phone, on your, on your girlfriend phone, on your laptop, on the pen drive somewhere. Basically one huge mess. Am I, am I right? What if you lost one of those devices? Basically, those data is, is pretty much gone. If I'm right, and probably I am, you need to have one place securely and with easy access. You could just go there and place all that photos and have easy access whenever you want. Not only for you, but the whole, whole family. At the end of the day, this will be your main source of the data, so it has to be reliable. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to NAS Network Attached Storage, your new best friend. I'm not gonna go too deep in that subject because uh, ooh, that video could be extremely long. I will just say you this, Network Attached Storage is a simply device connected to your network that stores data, whatever data you have and need. Those devices, those NAS devices, comes with different shapes, sizes, uh, abilities, and of course prices. They start from little as $100 to thousands of dollars, depends what you need. But I want to talk about you, normal, everyday user, home user, uh, that, want, that just wants to back up your important family photos. So you will be looking at the NAS device with uh, at least two base and rate one ability. What that means exactly? Two bay means that you could install two drives like this. And rate one means that one drive will be mirroring or the other name for it, just replicating the other drive. So one drive will be exactly copy on the, of the another one. Everything sooner or later will fail. That's why you need to have two drives. There are NAS devices out there with only one bay and I highly recommend you to avoid those. You need to have at least two. So in case of any failures, like one of those drives will fail, you will get quickly information that you need to replace the drive and you have to be fast because you don't want to have another failure and you will lose all all the data guys i was looking on the internet how much that cost and uh, storage devices like uh, like those i just said starts from 120 pounds um, but this is only for the nas device and you need to have two drives for that for example western digital uh, design for nas servers uh, two terabyte size starts from 72 pounds. So we are talking about 120 for the NAS device and two uh, drives each 72 pounds. So in total, we are talking about 264 for working unit. And um, yeah, it's a bit, bit a lot, almost 300 pounds just to to make it work 
you could go with the used devices and uh, I found something on the internet on eBay actually between 120 and 150 so you have the whole unit with two hard drives for around 150 pounds it is much better but I will tell you this those cheap devices they will be loud they will be limited and at the end of the day they are only storage devices nothing more so looking at our options I decided to basically build one but I have few requirements first of all it cannot be big it cannot be big as my computer PC has to be something smaller cannot be loud I hate noises hello mr. Wolfick come here come let's go say hello to the camera to my fans subscribe my channel what, what? subscribe his channel oh thank you <laughs> cannot be loud because I hate noises it has to be something quiet it has to be something small in the corner that that runs quietly and uh, what else it cannot be power hungry I don't want to waste too much money on my electricity bill and the last thing guys has to be upgrade upgradable because sooner or later you will want to add memory or maybe replace the drives or maybe you will have an idea to do something even more so it has to be upgradable it took me some time but I found a proper device uh, finally I choose device from HP Hewlett Packard model 290 G1 micro tower business PC edition but be careful with those micro tower devices because they are comes with different specs so you could buy something with a different CPU with different memory different drives basically everything inside different so I was looking at the device with minimum 8 giga, gigabyte of RAM DDR4. I was looking at the CPU with uh, Intel 7th generation. So I choose Core i3-7100. Uh, that was very important to me because I want to watch 4K content without any problems. And the motherboard has to have three SATA ports. So this micro tower checks all the boxes originally this uh, device comes with uh, two drives one is ssd one is hdd and the optic optic drive but i will take that off and i will use those three sata ports for something else so the first sata port will be used by tiny ssd drive which i'm gonna install windows operating system and the other two will be used for my nas drives
So how much I paid for that? For the micro tower I paid 120 with uh, postage, so 120 for that, and now I need some drive. So I already had the small SSD drive, so I didn't pay anything. Maybe you have somewhere spare drive, but if not, fear no more, eBay is here and you can find 60 gigabytes SSD from the good company for something little as uh, 14 quid amazing 14 quid and you get 60 gigabytes for your operating system which is three times more than you really really need and uh, two drives i could go with something new and usually i would recommend you to buy brand new hard drives but because we are talking about the nas drives i thought I will take a little bit of risk and I will buy used ones. So I found this seller, he, man he says that those drives are in perfect conditions, they are not uh, really used a lot. So for 105 pounds, I bought two drives, three terabytes each, which is amazing deal, amazing. I will tell you this, for 70 quid, you can have uh, brand new two terabyte NAS drives for 70 quid. So I would pay one, 140 for four terabytes and I paid only 105 for uh, six terabytes. I, will, I just want to tell you something quickly. What is the main difference between NAS drives and uh, normal drives like this? Because physically they are exactly the same. They have exactly the same ports they look the same but they are designed different uh, NAS drives not those ones then the NAS drives they are capable to write and read much more data so before they fail ooh, this will be years years of heavy use before something will happen they are designed to work 24 7 365 days each year so I took this in my in my opinion tiny risk and i just bought used ones and i i think i made a really good deal also they are uh, much more um, resistant to vibration which is also very important because you have a lot of moving parts um, inside so yeah this is this is quite important they are usually they are quiet depends what you're buying so checks all my boxes and if you are just simple home user as me and you just need to upload some data only from time to time and you will have access to them only from time to time they will last you for ages it's like it's like using using massive crane just to lift something really tiny
Usually NAS devices, they use uh, fancy software. We could go fancy with this, with this project, but I wanna make it simple and I, wanna, I don't wanna spend too much money. So I decide to install Windows operating system and use built-in software that will allows me to mirror replicate drives. So idea is very simple. After connecting your drives to the motherboard, you will create partition on one of those drives. In my case, I have three terabyte, terabyte disk and I will make just one huge partition. I don't need to divide this to, to different sections. And uh, with right click of a button, I will add mirror. I will choose another drive and uh, this operation will convert those disks to so-called dynamic disks. You need to press OK, but just be careful. You could, you need to have those drives empty. And uh, yeah, and basically that's it. Now you need to wait for resyncing. So both drives, they will be uh, exactly the same. So this resyncing procedure will copy block by block, by byte by byte until it's finished. And this will take, this will take ages. Depends from the drive, could take you from two hours to even 10 hours. In my case, it was around 10 hours. I don't, I don't even remember. I will check it. I will check it later. I will, I will show you, but that was freaking a whole day. So in my case, three terabytes resyncing was, was almost 10 hours. Before I go further, quickly, I just wanna explain you what is the difference between going fancy and going simple. So going fancy, I'm talking about special software with a hardware RAID and not going fancy, simple way. It's going with a software, software RAID. So what is the difference between software and hardware RAID? So hardware option and the software option, I will just put that somewhere here to, on the side. So hardware means you have a separate unit that handles all those operations. So those copy, those two drives working together and one is copying another one, all that will be handled by this separate hardware that you need to install. On the software side, all those operation, operations are handled by a Windows operating system. So yes, your operating system will require some resources from your spec to handle that. So in theory, the hardware is better, will be, will be faster, but in, in the real life, you will not even notice. If you are just simple home user like me and you just need from time to time copy and download something, so you will not even, you will not even uh, notice the difference. Hardware option, maybe it's better and faster, but require more money because you need to have separate unit you need to place in uh, and uh, install. So we are talking about extra money spend it on this uh, option software you have it for free it's already built in hardware will require a little bit more configuration just just a little but yeah it will it will require some of your knowledge time and digging in settings software is just a few clicks of the button job done hardware require extra software that will monitor those drives i mean the, there has to be a software that is checking the health of those drives because if something goes wrong you need to have information like a warning sign warning your one of those drives is acting suspicious so you might have a look at that software is already done windows operating system will tell you that something is not right yeah and that's it one thing about the Windows operating system, since we are using the most common operating system in the world, and that system is a favorite system by hackers to attack, you need to create two accounts in your Windows operating system. One will be with a full admin access. That means you will have all the permissions you require, but this will be password protected and you will just use it for uh, making some changes in the system and the second account will be for everyday use browsing the internet or watching some 4k content or whatever you want to do 
which I'm gonna show you what else you can do later. So the idea is this, even if you accidentally go to this dodgy website and this malicious software will try to install on your computer, the Windows will ask you for administration password. So every time when you suddenly see, when suddenly window appear that requires password, that means that some that means that something just tried to install on your operating system. And since we are talking about storing your important data, you don't want to have any viruses. Also, every now and then I recommend you to use program called Process Explorer from Sys Internals company uh, with uh, virustotal.com option on, just in case. The last thing you just need to do is just share the folder or the whole partition and the all members in your network, that means all family in the, in the house, can have access to that. And uh, that's it. You, you can start placing your data, copy, whatever you need to do. It's there waiting for you. Congratulations, you just built your NAS server. And, uh, but the question is, what else we can do with this? Because I didn't make this video just to show you how to build a NAS server, which, which I could, why not? But I wanna do something else. So let's go to part two, which is let's improve your ent entertainment uh, abilities, experience. So I wanna make my smart telly even smarter. So my proposition is this, stop using your smart telly to watch content online. Use, use this new computer you just built. Idea is simple. You will connect this PC directly to your telly via HDMI cable. Computer is connected to internet. That depends from you. You could use Wi-Fi card. I use the Wi-Fi card, but you could use cable as well. And uh, start watching content through internet browser. Just in install uh, browser like uh, Brave, maybe also extension uh, uBlock Origin, and start watching whatever you want from there. For example, YouTube. Have a look how YouTube uh, looks from the browser point of view and compared to your small te telly. Just run YouTube on the smart telly and then run YouTube on the in the browser with this uBlock origin. You can thank me in the comment below. But YouTube is just one of the things you can do. If you have a good websites, you could watch any content you want. For example, yesterday I decided to watch a movie called Alien from 1979 in the full HD. Yeah, why not? Do you have this option with your small, smart telly? I know that those televisions have uh, big libraries and you could uh, choose a lot, but we both know that you are limited. It's not like, mm, I want to watch, let's say, Rocky Part 2, but you're browsing and uh, this movie is not available. With a PC and the good websites, which I'm not going to talk about in this video, you could have access to any movie, anytime, whatever you desire. So think about that. And uh, if you know any good websites, you can comment below. So your new NAS server storage, network storage is ready. Also, you have access to basically unlimited content online. What else we can do? When I was a kid, we didn't have uh, Xboxes or uh, or PlayStations, but we had something called Nintendos, and we had those beautiful games. Today they are called retro games. Super Mario Brothers, Contra, uh, Tetris, Tanks, all those amazing games. And uh, those devices, they, they can cost a lot these days. And uh, I'm gonna show you how to, how to run them on your new NAS server slash uh, smart tally 2.0 project slash retro uh, console thing. <laughs> so in a bit I'm gonna show you what program you have to install. The program it's called 
FC Ux, I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, in a moment, I'm gonna show you how to install that and how to run it. And uh, and yeah, and you could uh, connect your uh, game controller from, let's say, your old Xbox 360. This is USB. And yeah, you could play some games. <laughs> or you could go fancy and you could buy one of those retro games controllers. They are Some of them, they are even wireless, so you could play on your massive tally Mario Brother, which I'm gonna show you right now. All right, guys, that's gonna be it. I could talk about this subject on and on and on. I could divide this video to three different parts and go really specific, but I don't wanna make it too long, which is already is. Um, if you have any questions, please comment below. Don't, don't, don't be shy. And if you want me to talk about something, also just, just leave a comment. Also, guys, I wanna say thank you because my channel recently reached 100 subscribers and it's still growing this is small community but it's growing and uh, yeah i'm really proud of that i'm hoping that soon will be 200 and then 2000 and even more so i just want to thank you for that thank you for uh, for thank you for the comments for the likes and uh, yeah just just thank you for for being here and guys like always if you found that uh, video interesting consider subscribing and uh, don't forget about smashing that like button if you want if not that's still okay and i will see you next time thank you